One of the best ways you can set up your Helium hotspot to the internet is by running power over Ethernet. Now it's most commonly used in the outdoor scenario where you're setting up and be on top of a rooftop or a tree install or maybe a flagpole, but you can also use it for an attic installation or if you're just far away from your router. So in this video, we're going to go over the very basics as far as what you need, how to plan and set up your power over Ethernet. And then lastly, we're going to answer some FAQs that you might run into along the way. Now, if you're watching this video, we understand that Every installation is a case by case scenario. So we're gonna get down to the very basics and explain just about everything you would potentially need to know so that you can know exactly what you're getting yourself into and make the best decisions to make your Helium hotspot work for you. With that in mind, power over ethernet is loved by so many people because it's fairly cheap to use and it's very reliable. So you can never go wrong with doing power over ethernet. Now, without further ado, my name is Gilbert Chaparro. Thank you for watching guys and let's get into the video. Now let's start with the equipment that you need. You're going to need one splitter, one injector and two ethernet Ethernet cables. Let's talk a little bit about how the setup works so that way you can further understand about how much cable you actually need to run your operation. In a normal Ethernet install, you have the Ethernet cable that's plugged into the router or the modem, and then that cable is plugged into whichever device you're connecting to the internet. Now, with the power over Ethernet setup, it's not too much different than that. We're just going to add a couple steps. You still have the router or the modem, and you still have that power over Ethernet cable. But instead of plugging into that device, we need to first inject the power into that ethernet cable. So we need to make a pit stop and connect it to the injector. This injector has to be plugged into a wall outlet. Once it's plugged into the wall and it has the input from the router, you can now connect your second ethernet cable into the output source of the injector. Now this cable is carrying power and the internet signals that you need for your device. All you have to do now is connect your splitter to that ethernet cable. Since you still need to connect a power cable into the back of your hotspot, the splitter's function is to split up the power and the ethernet into two separate cables. Lastly, to finish up this setup, all you have to do is connect the ethernet into the ethernet port and then the power cable into the power port of your hotspot. Now, what's the max distance you can go with power over ethernet? So not starting from the router, but we're starting from the injector. That's where the power starts. You can reach up to 100 meters, which is 328 feet in distance with your ethernet cable without losing any power. Once you start to go over that, then you start to jeopardize some power and you don't really want to go past that. So what kind of ethernet cables are we talking about here? What is it that we need? Is there any specific categories that we're looking for? And that's also a good question. The answer is, yeah, we're looking for cat five and above. Category seven would be the best though, so you can have the fastest download speeds for your miner. Now let's go over the three types of ethernet cables that you can use for your install. Of course, there's the regular ethernet cable that's just round. Then you have the flat ethernet cable. And then lastly, you have the direct burial. But some of these cables might work better for you depending on your situation. The flat ethernet cable is great because you can use it and be very flexible with your installations. You have options of going in between doors, windows, small holes, or just any tight corner really that you need to get around. You can use it like a regular ethernet cable. A lot of times we worry about damaging and kinking and bending and snapping cables. With the flat ethernet, it's super flexible. You don't have to worry about anything. Next cable after that is gonna be the direct burial cable. The direct burial cable is exactly what it sounds like. You can bury it directly into the ground without having to have some kind of conduit to protect it in the ground. Now the reason you want to put conduit when you're burying a cable on the ground is so that you can protect it from anything like water or maybe even animals that would try to dig it up or the lawnmower or just anything that can help deteriorate this cable as time passes. If you appreciate this kind of content, hit the like and subscribe for us. It would mean a ton to us. And if you eventually find out that this content is no longer useful for you, you can go ahead and unsubscribe and we wouldn't take it personally. We are in the path of making weekly helium content for you. So if that's something that you're interested in, stick around and be on the lookout for our videos. So of course, the the most common question we have now is how much cable do I need? And it depends on your installation. The length of these two ethernet cables are going to depend on the location of these three things, your helium hotspot, your router, and the receptacle that you're choosing to connect the injector to. So if the outlet that you're connecting your injector is right next to your modem or your router, then that cable doesn't have to be too long. It could probably be three to five feet long and you'd have no problem. But if you're choosing to connect the injector into an outlet that's much further away, say about 25 feet, then you're probably going to need a much longer cable so that we can reach that outlet and then take into account where your helium hotspot is from that injector not from a router so that could be another 25 to 50 maybe even 100 feet of cable that you need now if you guys have any further questions feel free to drop it in the comment section down below and we'll be sure to get back to you that being said guys thank you so much for watching i hope this video does help you out in one way or another be sure to stick around for our videos coming out and i'll see you guys in the next video